Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Happy snow day. I mean, the snow we got outside is unreal. I took a, um, what's it called? A ruler outside and 7.3 inches where I am. So hope you guys are having a good day. Had a good weekend. Super Bowl was awesome. I hope that um, lives were changed in your room, that you guys had fun, that you felt like your hard work was well worth it to bring people to know Jesus through something fun that we get to do every year. So hope you guys had a great weekend with that. And let's get into this weekend. We are kicking off our new series, The Cure. And this week, we're talking about sin. So for friends who were new last week, Super Bowl for the first time, and they're like, hey, I want to keep coming to this church. We are hitting them with a message on sin. So it's going to be really good, though. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of good moments, a lot of life change, and it'll be awesome. So we've got um, we've got a solid plan for this weekend. However, it is always hard with Mondays off just to make sure that we've got all of our ducks in a row, if you will. Um, but I hope you guys had a great day of rest yesterday and we are going to have an awesome weekend regardless. So I'm going to go over what we've got for our plan and I will also keep updating you guys this week as we know more. And if you have any questions, let me know. So 20 minute countdown loop as normal. And then we are going to uh, have a hard point performance song happiness. What I do know is going to happen is that the bands will have emoji paper bags over their heads. What I don't know is the exact clarity on that or where those are coming from. Josh is going to have an answer for that by the end of the day today. So be on the lookout for that answer. It'll be a fun little moment. And then CPs or worship leaders will do a welcome and set up the new series. Then we will be into the worship block, which is just going to be a two song worship block because we've got a couple other hard point songs at the top and bottom. It looks like Oakley is doing trust <clears throat> and we praise you. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, trust and we praise you. CPs or worship leaders, however you want to do that, will pray, wave, sit. And then we're going to be into a CP moment where we're doing the top 10 worst COVID pickup lines. It's Valentine's Day. To add a little levity to the service on sin, we're going to give it a shot. Bands have a song to play underneath just to keep it upbeat and fun and not super awkward. Um, there's a little bit of language in here. It says Valentine's Day reminds me of how hard it is to find love these days. A global pandemic makes it harder. It really takes courage to put yourself out there. Like anything, knowing what doesn't work helps us get to what does work. With that said, here are some of the worst pickup lines during COVID. So take your shot, but whatever you do, don't use these. <laughs> so that'll be like a three minute moment for CPs just to kind of have fun, make people laugh. And then we will be into the teaching. So coming out of that, we will have um, an infographic video for the cure for the series. And then BT will do his teaching. And since he is talking sin, he is actually going to lead people to repentance, which will give us kind of a response option or not option, but moment at the end of service where <clears throat> people can engage with the chat. And there's going to be a question for them. What's keeping you from the garden? And an uh, option for them to chat in and repent and all of the wonderful things that come along with that. That I think is going to be done locally. However, there's still more clarity we need on that moment that we're talking through right now. But the hard point is going to be run to the father, which is we're not sure if that's going to be like a stand up and sing this with us or if it's going to be sung over people as they are being led to repentance. That will that clarity will come. But what we do know is that song will be a hard point. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, more clarity to come. We're thinking that there's going to be a slide with directions, but 
what we know is for sure the hard point is run to the father. And then CPs will be up to dismiss and that'll be our service. So we feel pretty good about the outline we've got right now. I know there are a couple moments that we just need to make sure we've got some clarity on. But other than that, if you have any questions, please let me know and I would be happy to help. Quickly to go over next weekend's plan, it is still in the it's still in the works again with Mondays off and again next Monday will be off. Thanks for your grace as we are figuring all of it out. So one thing to note about the next weekend, Allie is talking shame and it's going to be a pretty heavy weekend again. What she does have is like some creative element about looking into a mirror and lies that she would believe about herself or covered up with lies that or not lies that truth that God believes about you. So kind of to add to that creative piece for the weekend, we are going to have big mirrors on the doors as people walk in with lies of shame printed on them. So go ahead, producers, and start talking to your FI directors about what that looks like at your site, because that'll be a moment for people to kind of be like, oh, what are we talking about today as they're walking in? Because that'll look different. Um, then we'll have the countdown loop. We will have the infographic, the cure video, a welcome, the worship block, a possible CP moment. And then there's going to be a song leading into Allie Shame Shame. Allie will do her teaching. And I believe the hard point will be the father's house and at the end of service and CPs will dismiss. So again, pretty light as far as the outline goes. However, we do know that those mirrors are going to be happening and father's house is a hard point and then shame shame for and that is in the outline i know justin said that worship leaders had to circle up today so if you guys have any questions on this weekend or next weekend please let me know again thanks for your grace as we're figuring things out this week and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a great rest of your week and um, good luck with week one of the cure this weekend.